Just when you thought you were out, they pull you back in. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine here on Happy Cool and welcome to a new Banshee review. This week's episode was called All the Wisdom I Got Left. Let's talk about it. First, some quick thoughts. I love the opening scene when they're in the swamp. It kind of made me think of CSM Miami a little bit. I never noticed how nice Proctor's pool is. Like seriously, I want to go swim there. I loved seeing Job fight that boxer guy. Such an awesome scene. Can we get more of those? I loved it. And also enjoyed that we found out a little more about sugar and it allowed Job and Sugar to bond a little more, and that's always good in my book. Moving on to Rebecca and Burton. So Rebecca tried to put the moves on Burton. Didn't turn out exactly how she had expected, to say the least. And Burton definitely has some anger issues that he covers up very well. How awesome was that silent scream shot of him? I do think that Proctor might have picked Burton, especially if he told him what she was doing. I don't know, Rebecca, I think you're a little too confident there. Speaking of Proctor, he made his way back into the church, which is what he had been trying to do for years now. It's just sad that his mom had to die in order for him to get it. Unfortunately, his happy moment didn't last too long because Fraser's man came to not only get him, but Emily. They did not look happy. Rebecca kind of got him in trouble on that one, so not sure how that's gonna work out. It's not looking good. The Hunt for Chayton. The opening sequence for this episode had a picture of Chayton torn in two with blood coming out. So yeah. We all know what that means now. Hood and Brock get into a fight right off the bat, and Hood is able to shoot very precisely now, apparently. Where was that when Siobhan was in trouble? Just saying. When Hood jumped to fight Chayden in those like cage fights or whatever those are called, I don't really know street fights. I was kind of like with Brock, like what are you doing Hood? But I gotta give it to Hood, he's got some moves because Chayden is not an easy opponent to fight. I think he hung in there way better than the first time he fought Chayden. So, you know, there's that. And then when Hood fell asleep, was anybody like, Hood, what are you doing? Why are you asleep? Like, what the hell? Of course he's gonna come now. And he opens his eyes and Chayden is right there. It's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Although I have to say Chayden's plan wasn't really thought out completely because I guess he expected to be able to kill Hood and that didn't really turn out the way he expected it to turn out. And finally got the end of Chayden. A very visually disturbing end to say the least. The head thing was kind of I don't even think I was disgusted right away. I was more of like in shock of like, oh my God, did I just see this? Did that just happen? What? So yeah, it didn't end in a complete fight off between Hood and Shane. And to be fair, did we really think that Hood could fight Shane and win? I mean, Shane is, is massive. So I don't know. I think this is more believable that he would kill him by shooting him. Of course, Hood is like, can I leave now? I mean, I don't really want to go back to Benchy. There's really nothing for me there. But this is called Benchy, so Brock has to find a way to get him back there. And I think that on some level, Brock knows that maybe Hood isn't a typical sheriff or maybe isn't even a cop at all. But he's like, at this point, you're the only guy that can bring Proctor down and I need you to do that. So we'll see how that turns out. They might not even need to bring Proctor down because he's in trouble himself, so, you know. Unfortunately, Chayton might be down, but Stowe is still standing up. And it looks like Stowe is suspecting Carrie because who else would have been able to get his fingerprints and his voice? Yikes. Oh, he's crazy, that one. And it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. I guess the next two episodes will be all about Stowe. Yay. Kind of worried. So those were all my thoughts, but of course I'd love to hear your thoughts on the episode. Were you satisfied with the way Chayton found his end? Are you looking forward to more stuff? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Venture review and other videos I put on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!